Let's listen to the first testimony. My name is Dr. John Dixon, consultant of obstetrician and gynecologist. I'm here to introduce the testimony. This uh, sister here, Sister Mercy Benson, had a grandchild that was born. After a few weeks, the child was diagnosed with Hespron's disease. The disease made the stomach of the child to be very swollen, could not pass through. And then the child was taken to the hospital. And then colostomy was to be done for the child, but they refused because of the nature of the surgery. That is to open part of the stomach and bring out the intestine so that feces could be leaking out externally. And so during the Lagos Crusade, the grandma decided to call upon God and to believe God for a miracle. After the prayer of the man of God, the Hirschsprung disease resolved, and up to now, the child has been well. Let's hear from her. My name is Sister Macy Benson. I'm from Woji Old Group, from Woji District Church. I want to tell you that nothing God cannot do. God can do all things. That was always my song during the problem. In November, a colleague called me that I should come for the daughter's wedding. I went. I went on Thursday. I was to come back to Port Harcourt on Sunday. But the night preceding Sunday, that was Saturday night, my daughter went into labor. I had to stay. On Tuesday, she was delivered of a baby boy. I had to cancel coming back to Port Harcourt. I stayed with her. But about two weeks' time, we noticed something, that the baby's stomach was, started swelling and started swelling and continued to swell and with green veins all over the stomach. The mother was worried. She said, Mommy, what should I do? I want to take this boy to the hospital. I said, okay, go. She went. When she went, one of the children doctors, they diagnosed uh, 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 x prong disease. When she said, I said, I don't know what to do. She said, Mommy, what do I say? I don't know. I now ask her, what did the doctor say? The doctor said that nothing she could do, that the child will stay like that until about three to four to five years before they will take the child for operation. But another doctor advised them to take the child to specialist hospital, Sania Bacha specialist hospital in Uyo. So she carried the child there. When she carried, that was the time of uh, the explosion, miracle explosion crusade. So when she took the child there, the first day, I went to the crusade. The second day, I carried the baby's clothes and said, God, when our Jesus is, is praying, let your power enter into this clothes. That when I wear this baby, this clothes, God, the power of God, will suck out whatever it is in the stomach. So, on Saturday, on that, 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 this thing was on, was it on Wednesday? On Saturday, I went to the crusade. On Sunday, the mother called me and said, come over to you, let me come back. Since I'm not breastfeeding the baby, so I went. When I went on, Saturday, on Sunday, I stayed on Sunday. On Monday, a group of doctors came to, you know, to examine the baby. When they came, they came back and said, who's the mother of that baby who's so in stomach? I said, I'm the one. He said, where is the mother? He said, the mother has gone home. They now say she called the mother. I called the mother. The mother came on Tuesday. When the mother came, the doctor said they had to operate this boy. And the operation is called colostomy. We are, we are, don't Tell know us what, what happened. So, that Tuesday night, that evening, that evening of the Tuesday, I was where I was sleeping and the boy was there because the nurses would not allow me, would not allow me to enter there. So while the boy was crying because of hunger, I was here crying. I told God, 
God, you heard the voice, the voice of the Lord, that is his man. God, you heard the voice of this baby and help this baby. In the morning when I went, I to look at the baby, I saw that the, the, the stomach has gone down. I know, so I, was, I was even surprised. <laughs> God has done something. So, I now see that God, the day the boy was, would have been operated upon, God operated that boy. And the stomach went. And the problem Praise went. The Praise the Lord. It took place Tuesday, the day. When did the, the, the miracle take place? Tuesday, on Tuesday. During prayer? Yes, yes. That, that was on Tuesday. Where is the boy? Now, is the boy here with you? No, the boy is with the mother in my place. Okay. The boy is four months old now. God bless you. God has done it. Wait. You will help us. You will get the picture of the boy okay, sir. before the problem, after the problem. Okay, sir. So that the miracle will be testified everywhere. Okay, we will produce more of that miracle. Okay, Praise sir. the Lord. We listen to the second person now. by my side is Joy John. She had a fall when she was pushed about one month ago. As a result of that, she had dislocation of her right knee, which made it difficult for her to kneel down. But today, after the prayer of the man of God, the knee has been healed. And now she could walk, she could kneel down. Let's listen to her. Praise the Lord. My name is Joy Jobari John from Rumucholu District, Rumoji Group, Portakot Region, River State, Nigeria. My testimony is on divine healing. Over a month ago, I was pushed and it was on the field. I fell down, I, was, I crashed, I fell down. And there was a wound I got injured on my right, on my left hand, and on my knee. My right knee it was dislocated. So it was very, very painful. In fact, at that instant, I thought I couldn't walk again. I tried walking. It was very, very difficult. I thought my bone had shifted. It was very, very painful. So right from that time, I've been in pain, severe pains. I can only kneel down with the left knee. I can't kneel down with the right knee. But I've been, the, I've been like that till today. I've been praying about it, but no solution. Till today, when the man of God was praying, he mentioned arthritis and pains in the knee, on the knee. I said amen to it. I believed it because I told God this is the last bus stop. And then just, I didn't even know when it left. At a point, my spirit told me to check it. I checked it and behold, there was no pain. I told the person sitting beside me that, it has gone or something that was there for over one month that I can't believe it's gone. I've come to give God all the glory for healing me. Now I can bend. Can, I can, can you kneel down. down? Can you kneel down? Let's see. Kneel down. Okay. Get up. God bless you. Praise the Lord. The last ball stop. The next person. The Lord, Sister Charity in the BC is here to share a testimony of God's restoration unto her. Let's listen to her. 
Shout, praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Charity Ndubisi. I'm from Bori region. I want to thank God so much for what God has done for me tonight. Before, I was a believer. But later long, I lost the joy of my salvation. And since then, I have been battling, wondering, what should I do? Last month, our daddy in the Lord came to our region, Bori region. He preached. He did everything. Since that 13th March till today, I have not gotten myself. Tiredness, sleepless nights. I will be wondering, on the road, I cannot go. I, all my mind, what should I do? Will I remain like this? What should I do? In the church, no joy, sadness all through. But I thank God as I came here this evening after the message of our Lord, our daddy in the Lord. That joy I have been looking for. That joy I have been looking for all while. Oh, God restore back the joy of my salvation. I say, God, who restore the joy of my salvation, may he may learn. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Restoration. We listen to our audience online now. He's restored to faith, to holiness, to righteousness. Great testimony. Let's listen to our audience online. We have great testimonies of the power of God online let's take you to some of the great ones we're hearing because it's the time of celebration of the power of god we have this testimony coming from the gs official facebook page this person the evangelist joy chibuke says praise god i have a testimony to share since i was having a slight headache but immediately after the prayer of the man of god the headache vanished and now i am completely healed we also have this also coming from the GS official Facebook page from Spotless Wisdom. He wrote, I got my healing right now, according to you, how he wrote. He says that years of chest pain is gone. And right now, I am completely healed from chest pain. And now we'll take you to this one from New Jersey in the United States of America. Her name is Mosumola Onyinade. He joined the crusade via YouTube. He said he was having excruciating pain and very strong pain on the ankles. But after the prayer of the man of God, the pain disappeared. Miracle, power, via YouTube. And with utmost joy, I bring you this from Agnes Usman from YouTube. He says, I've been having pains in my left leg for some weeks now. But tonight, after that short and simple prayer, the final amen brought my healing. Praise the Lord, I am healed. And also from the, uh, from the YouTube page, Faith Sunday says that God has done it. And it is marvelous. What has God done? My kid sister just received a sanity back after the final amen tonight and the lord has restored the sanity of a sister this one is from calabar been suffering from bone issues since 2012 the doctors could not lay a specific diagnosis but power for the hour understood the diagnosis arthritis is the name our father in the faith mentioned it tonight and immediately after the prayer of the man of god he wrote i have been squatting for the past 10 minutes and all the pain is completely gone praise the lord and because the miracles seem not to be ceasing and of course will never cease this one is coming from sister mercy benson who says that her daughter had a baby after uh, the okay the baby was having some growth on the stomach and then upon visit to the hospital the baby was diagnosed with a disease 
and it required a surgical operation. But during one of the recent crusades, according to the writing, Sister Mercy prayed for the baby. And uh, while the man of God was praying, she mentioned the baby's case and she got a call after the prayers of the man of God, after the crusade that day, that the baby had been delivered from the disease. And right now, the baby is as good as can be. Praise the Lord. Let's now take you to Cameroon, Douala precisely where Sister Clementina from the region of Douala wrote. You would see her picture shortly on your screen. She discovered that she was HIV positive and she was invited to this crusade and she trusted God for the healing. And she said that on Monday, after the previous crusade at Bayelsa, she went for the HIV test again, and the test came out negative. The power of God at the crusade in Bayelsa killed HIV completely. We return to the state of Asia. Let's listen to the next testimony. Praise the Lord. The person by my side is uh, Paul Bassi. Paul Bassi had a road traffic accident four years ago that resulted in his inability to walk. He has been walking with the head of this walking stick. But as he came to this crusade today, after the prayer of the man of God, he could walk without the head of the walking stick for the first time for four years. Let's hear from him. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is Paul Bassi. I'm from Oyibo region. I had an accident four years. So for four years, I've been unable to stand on my own without the help of this thing. So as the man of God prayed, I believe and I put my trust in him. And now I can stand with my two legs. Clap your hands for Jesus. I I've pray. Able, I pray. I pray. God will perfect everything that remains in my life. It's perfected already. Believe God, it is perfected. He was unable to stand on his feet. It's not just only standing, he can move. By God's grace, God will perfect everything. Let's listen to the next person. Our ears have had great things. Church, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. She is uh, Esther David. She has been having high fever for the past one week. In fact, it was difficult for her to come for this program, but she came after the prayer of the man of God, the fever vanished, and she was normal. She became normal. Let's see her from her. My testimony goes like this. As the man of God was preaching, as I was sitting down there praying, all ran over my body. There is something that is itching me like an ant. But suddenly, after the prayer, I got healing. I got healed. On Thursday, on Thursday, I was moving out of our house. So I, ha I saw a, a shadow, a big shadow. So I ran out of the house. 
but I don't understand. I, I pray that the Almighty God that He be today will be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. That shadow is gone. All the shadow of evil in your life, they are gone. The next person. The Lord. Hallelujah. The mama by my side is Sister Tamono William. She stood in for her daughter during the Bayasa Crusade. The daughter was sick for a very long time. But during the crusade, she stood on her behalf. And after the prayer of the man of God, the daughter becomes healed. So we hear from Mama herself. Praise our Lord. Praise our Master Jesus. Our God is good. My people, the thing where God do for me, I no go fit to talk and finish. My as a, then they do crusade. Our pastor, pap, our Papa pastor, they do crusade for Bayasa. Now, I'm, uh, the time don't reach. I tell my picking, sir, they go the crusade. Too. Now, he tell me, say, belay the pen and too much. If I reach, make I pray for her. I say, eh, no trouble, God day. As we, uh, we don't reach, we don't do the crusade to finish. Now, I reach the house. If still they cry, they cry, they cry. I tell and say, wait. Already, my pastor don't pray for everybody with the sick. I know, say, go, go. Now I go put my hand for him, belly. Pray, so they pray, finish. Before we go sleep, the pen don't finish. Each morning, I ask him, he said, the pen, no more pen again. Praise our Lord. Hallelujah. Praise our Master Jesus. Jesus is alive forever. Amen. Amen. Let's switch over to online. Online, we can confirm to you great testimonies happening. This one comes all the way from the United Kingdom. Osiomen Timothy from the United Kingdom woke up this morning with severe headache. He could not walk, according to what he wrote, due to the pains that came with it. But after the prayer of the man of God this evening, that headache instantaneously stopped. Power interrupted that headache and total healing he received. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From the GS Facebook page, we have this wonderful testimony of um, this brother, Jeremiah Olawepo, who says that he's been experiencing back pain since last week Wednesday. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, according to him, he can now do what he could not do before. He's received strength in that back. The pain is gone and he is free. And from YouTube, Olawale Aruobola wrote, I had been very sick. I joined their YouTube, believing God for healing. And after the prayer of the man of God tonight, I am completely healed. Oparachizoba followed and wrote, It is true, what God cannot do does not exist. And now we have the celebration of joy of salvation being restored. And this is coming from Sister Charity Undubuisi, who says that she got born again after some time. But then she backslid and lost the joy of salvation. And since then, she's been wondering and experiencing an untold sadness. She attended one of the crusades held recently 
And she said, since then, she's not been feeling herself very well. But tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, when he made the altar call, of course, she responded. And tonight, she says that the joy of her salvation is restored. She is now grateful to God and joyful. Nkasa Baufelby from Ghana joined their YouTube. Had very serious running nose, according to his writing. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, he wrote, the running nose totally dried up and he's completely healed. Praise the Lord. We now return to the state of Assyria. Great and marvelous is the move of the Lord tonight. You will share your testimonies tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Remember, it's double dose. Retreat dose and crusade dose. Tomorrow morning, by the grace of God, we will be in our respective places. All adults from morning time will be here. We are to be here tomorrow morning around quarter to seven so that we can, we can pray, take our breakfast, get ready, quarter to eight, the choir are ready. Then the first message will come up by eight o'clock. Then all our students in secondary school, you are going to be in the main auditorium. That is where you are going to stay in the morning and afternoon. But in the evening, we all come back to here. Every one of us will come to the crusade ground until here is completely filled up. Nobody will be allowed to stay in any other place. Then all our children, you will be in your ch children auditoria together with the youth hall. Then our campus people, you will be in your campus hall by the side of the main auditorium. That is going to be the arrangement tomorrow morning. Remembering this is retreat. Morning and afternoon in the evening, we have global crusade. Global retreat plus global crusade is the fullness of your joy. The fullness of your restoration. Your blessing. So, you will get your breakfast here in the afternoon. You don't need to go home. Those in Portacourt, you have your lunch. Then, after the afternoon session, we have the global crusade. Before now, Portacourt brethren will go home. They return the following morning. We do that till Monday by the grace of